Hello. You're probably really excited to listen to this episode of the Cool Cat Cinema Fireside Chat. I just want to let you know that we did have some technical difficulties for a few months there where I was unable to access all my editing stuff. And so this episode is quite vintage. It has been fermented on my hard drive for about two months, so it's, uh, it's going to be showing its age, but I think it's still worth a listen. So without further ado, here's the sound effect. This is the Cool Cat Cinema Fireside Chat, episode 13. This episode was recorded on December 10th, 2015, and this episode has gone live on New Year's Day. Hooray! Hooray! There we go. I thought you died. Um, so, Ian, tell us your New Year's resolutions. Really? Oh. We, we have to make up our New Year's resolutions on the spot? Right now, on December 10th, 2015, on in on live on the Cool Cat Cinema Fireside Chat episode 13. I... Well, here's the thing. <laughs> at I'm November 7th at 2 p.m. Pacific time on <laughs> twitch.tv slash coolcatcinema. It's, it's for the children. So, yeah, Ian... What is your New Year's is, resolution? Do I do I talk now? <laughs> yes. Okay now you may, then. Now you, now you may speak. <laughs> I just had to wait for the perfect opportune moment to let you yeah. to allow you to I, speak. I know. I know. I and know. I could not think of so, a better time <laughs> than now. <laughs> Go for it, Ian. All right, now is here. your moment, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hesitating? <laughs> Don't hesitate. <laughs> Just do it. It's your New Year's <laughs> resolution. This is important, Ian. I'm debating if me leaving Skype will fuck things up. Because <laughs> it might be worth it. No, it's okay. You, Alan, you can go for it, buddy. Andrew's not even giving us his full attention. He's oh, mostly... Oh, please. <laughs> You don't you don't think I can play this game and hold a conversation? We'll find out. Alright. Uh, what what's your New Year's resolution, man? Come on. <laughs> why are you holding out? Oh yeah, why are you holding back? Uh well I'm looking to move soon and get a car and hopefully Ooh. Yeah. Joining the ranks of the Are adults. you gonna get an A eighty six? Probably not. I'm, are you I'm be driving assuming that's 90s? a hilarious car related joke. It's also an answer. To which I can say, to which I will reply to you, Andrew. <laughs> and then the <laughs> wheels, they t- yeah, <laughs> they, they sure do, they Matt. Sure, they sure turned when the engine sure exploded car. over and over they again sure in car. a small contained series of cylinders. The engine propelled the the metal to make it go in a direction. That's right. Yeah, and the tires <laughs> made it. Roll. What about the tires? They rolled, man. man. They so rolled. So I've been really practicing Damn. my car-related um, knowledge, so I can better fit into all the social circles, all yeah. of the social circles I find myself in. Hey, so Ian, moving and car, where, where to? Well, I, you want to hear a funny story that's unrelated to my New Year's resolution? Because I'm never even gonna get to saying that at all Are, tonight. Well, wait. No, I I do actually want to know. Are you gonna stay in Hollywood or? Uh, well, I was looking at that was a sweet corner, by the way. I was looking at moving to North Hollywood, um, because the Arts District is really hip and and pretty cool neighborhood. But it turns out it's also ridiculously expensive. Like, I thought WeHo was bad. We're like, okay, got a studio for fifteen hundred a month. It sucks, but I can walk to work. And now work moved four and a half miles away. Assholes. So, yeah. So it's it's actually a sweet space, but I've been basically paying ten to twelve bucks each way every day to lift to work. For you lift about, to work every for day for a week now. Yeah. So I'm starting wow. to think. Like, it's been a week. I mean, it's not prohibitively expensive, but if it keeps up, it is. So I'm like, right. 
You would think uh, they you would, seventy bucks a week you, just to get to work. You would think they would eventually and, give you like a lift, like frequent flyer card or something. Yeah, <laughs> right. This is my lift black card. <laughs> I can. Um, <laughs> I'd like to I'm, welcome all lift platinum members uh, to this. <laughs> The back seat today. Priority boarding. <laughs> Priority boarding. <laughs> Where they actually, like, yeah. they they piggyback you into the car. It's priority boarding. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, they I'd, I'd pay extra for that. You'd be, a, you'd be a platinum black card member of Lyft? Absolutely. MVP ultimate mileage. 3,000. Platinum. Yeah, sponsored so, by Samuel L. Jackson. Emerald edition. So one of our top five fans, Sava, was like, uh, "Take the bus, idiot!" And I'm gonna look into that. But as you basically, I should. Basically, I wake up at nine in the morning, and by nine ten, I'm like calling my lift. So, you know, I'm just so kind of fast and loose and lazy and tired <laughs> that I don't know if I can make it work out. But we'll see. But I'm looking. At going to NoHo, but it's even more expensive than WeHo. So, but while I was getting lifted home, a well, couple, yeah, I, I, I would imagine that removing the hose, yeah, is is probably something you have to pay a premium for, right? Because like one place it's WeHo's, so it's like there's there's multiple hose, there's right? several hose. It's not just one hoe. Right, yeah. so if you want to be in a place where there are no hoes, no you have hose. to go to no ho, right? <laughs> right. Which means that there were hoes, because why else would they call themselves no hoes? Right. So I figured because it's in the valley, it would be cheaper. But all the studios <laughs> I see are like eighteen hundred, which is way out of budget. But I got a Lyft driver last night. And he's like, I'm a comedy writer and I do improv, blah, blah, blah. And we're talking oh, yeah. and he's like, I have a really nice place in Los Feliz, which I feel should be Los Feliz, but everyone says Los Feliz. Um, and he was like, if you want to check it out, I'm, I have a roommate. I'm looking for a roommate. So there's a chance that after three years, I'll finally have a roommate again. Mm. Well, that's and cool. it'll be a comedy guy in a nice place. Actually, I that from a lift ride, so which is the weirdest people, thing when, ever. When they ever, whenever they enter the room, does uh, a studio audience start applauding? Is that like <laughs> an actual I, thing that happens? Well, I mean, if there is a studio audience, yes, but okay. turns out a lot of times there isn't, because huh. <laughs> people have better things to do. <laughs> so, having said all of that, I would love next year to actually like get out more and do more like yeah i was gonna i was gonna say dude like uh having the comedy guy as a roommate might actually be a really like yeah awesome thing yeah exactly and like you know so i'd like to get into improv i would like to at least try my stand-up comedy set uh and i would love to friggin get back in shape of course so nice man did did the uh the DDR session that nearly killed you was that when you decided <laughs> I need to get back into shape? That was everyone has like, their moment. Everyone yeah. has their breaking yeah. point where they're like, "Fuck, I need to get back into shape." Ian's was yeah, doing DDR I sh- on the. Uh, I November showered 7th and stream. nearly threw up. I just looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, "What you led used to this to point? Be a, <laughs> you used to be a dance dance revolutionary. <laughs> now you wow. now you're just a chump." <laughs> How about you? What about you? What about me or what about Matt? Either one. Whoever feels like... I've been... I mean, granted, I've been interrupted nonstop, but I've been talking <laughs> for like eight minutes straight now, so... Yeah, we just kept on like... Interrupted nonstop, basically. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's basically it. Um, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll try to come up with something. Um... So last year, my resolution was to spend more time on my art, and I made good on that, and uh, have made, you know, I guess quite a quite a bit of progress. That's an incredible score, by the way. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, so I guess I made quite quite a bit of progress there, uh, but I think this year it will be uh, uh, spend less time on your art. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, probably uh, focus even more on my art because I kind of got lazy here over the last few months. Um, really, uh, really work on the sort of like business side. Try to actually sell some mm, stuff yeah. this year. Yeah. I think I sold like one or two prints all year. Oh. <laughs> That's because well, you actually, haven't that's, you that's, haven't that's been advertising true. as that's much on the podcast. Every single podcast right. you need to close. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I've been I'm Andrew Brubaker from AndrewBrubakerArt.com, and this has been the Andrew Brubaker Skype Hour. This has been Cool Cats and My Fireside <laughs> Chat, uh, sponsored by AndrewBrubakerArt.com. <laughs> AndrewBrubakerArt.com, the place you high leave. quality prints right to your door. <laughs> high quality prints of also, two very specific things right to your door. <laughs> Also, check out my metal dice at shapeways.com slash shop slash vector dice. Which, by the way, yep. uh, I forgot to take to Graham when you I saw, saw him. Bitch. So I just... <laughs> I, I have a bag of dice here. All right. Let's, he'll, he'll get it eventually. No, listen, man. He and I were, were actually good friends. It's, yeah, we, we see each other often, so it's not a big deal. Cool. Yeah. Uh, they look amazing, by the way. Yeah. I, I really love the dark bronze color. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, yeah. So, my resolutions, uh, I think, focusing more on my art, learn some new software, uh, work on my portfolio graphic design stuff more, uh, because I haven't done that at work in the better part of a year. <laughs> so... Oh, uh, yeah. Mostly just focusing on my creative stuff. It's not delivery. It's Brew Baker. Oh, and friends. I I, I want to keep working on cooking more. I've been cooking a lot lately, and it's been nice. Nice, dude. Oh, cool. So, we should play Ready Steady Cook or whatever. Yes, we should. I don't even know what that is, but let's do it. Why don't you listen to Cool Cat Cinema Fireside Chat episode twelve <laughs> now on the Google Drive so it can go live tomorrow. Wow. There's some good shit in there about us promising things to Kronos and then quickly putting a statement. Com- qu- quickly putting completely a completely, yeah, a cork in it. Yeah, just go shutting. We were it just down. like, hey man, we will yeah. definitely try to maybe get around to that game eventually. We promised him that we would eventually do it for him. Maybe it if looked we're up to good. It. it did look good, but um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add speedrunners and the cooking game to my wish list. So if they go on sale for the winter sale, I'll pick them up. The winter sale? Like only winners? The winter sale. Yeah. 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 You have to be a winner to get a discount. Don't don't use drugs. Don't (laughs) use drugs. You have to pass a drug test to get (laughs) Steam deals. (laughs) (laughs) You have to apply for Steam deals. Only winners get sweet savings. <laughs> oh man, the thing is, right. it would work. They could, uh, they could make you apply, or maybe like you have to do a credit check to get <laughs> deals in the Steam store. <laughs> they run a FICA credit score check. Jesus Christ! Just to make sure they guarantee that they will get the maximum profits with no like chargebacks no just because they're just because examples. it's just because it's prohibited <laughs> it's prohibitive it makes getting those yep. sweet deals even That's more right. difficult they have to ensure that the people who are giving them the games to sell aren't getting completely hosed aren't getting completely money Got to make sure they're just getting compl- aren't getting completely we hose. Sorry, <laughs> and... bringing it back no, to ten was, minutes ago. That was ago. terrible humor <laughs> at its finest. <laughs> yeah. So there's that, I guess. But yeah. So okay, we just played. You, um, yeah, Hell Matt. What? Matt. No. No. Damn it! I'm not getting out of this. <laughs> I want it out. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, my here. top number one. Uh, New Year's resolution is prohibited to be heard by any other ears. So I'm going to go with my number two. Uh, My number (laughs) two, my second place uh, New Year's resolution is to do 
more live action stuff. Like either with yeah. Cool Cat Cinema or without you fuckers. But I want to do oh, some yeah, live yeah, action. Yeah. I want to do a lot of live action stuff for the channel. It, it yeah, sounds we've, like we've talked about doing that. Dude, it sounds like so much fun. So that's my new resolution to do more like stuff that requires a lot of setup and harder work. Yeah, I think that could be good for the channel, really. That would be good. Oh, speaking of, if or if you're done, if I can say something, yeah, that's everything I wanted I, to say. Wow, Ian, <laughs> that was so polite in response to our shittiness. <laughs> Was it, or because sometimes I feel like I'm sarcastic and I don't even realize it? No, really, it was. You were okay. like, Matt, I don't want to step on your toes and interrupt you. <laughs> so I just I don't want sure to place a spawn talking. beacon and immediately throw a grenade at it or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Well. Oh yeah, we should talk about the game we played too eventually. Yeah, we will so do that I, after we finish resolution I, discussion. Yeah. I have two audio video projects I'm kind of hoping I have time to work on over my winter break while I'm with my family in Barkley in Florida facebook.com slash Barkley the mutt just saying what? it's um, pretty fun I follow yeah um, I think I follow it too but I still don't know what it is you told me to and pictures I of, it's just pictures of Barkley he's our dog he's with awesome fun quotes. yeah my brother sometimes he'll post like other cute animal things around the internet on his page. Here's and some stuff, not Barclays for you Barclay fans. Yeah, but uh, so two video projects I'm, I I would really love to do. One is I want to take Star Trek: The Next Generation clips of Riker to <laughs> the Europop or Dream Evil Metal cover of the song My Number One. <laughs> That was because why hasn't anyone done that yet? I I know I know the character you're talking about because of the way he sits in chairs. <laughs> oh yeah, right, the Riker maneuver. <laughs> um, do, do you know this, Matt? Nope. It's only one of the best things Ian showed me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you can YouTube Riker maneuver and you'll see it, but um. Basically, Picard, the captain, calls him number one. So there's a song called My Number One, and why hasn't anyone put those clips together? Right. Basically. Okay. So if I do that, can I put it up on the Cool Cat channel? Because that should be tight. Sure. Yeah, do it. All right. And then the cool other Cat one. Cool Cat is literally so, just put whatever you fucking want on it, the channel. It is, it is our dumping, cr our shitting pile yeah. of internet video. Um. The other is, of course, the obvious Adele Lionel Richie mashup, which <laughs> someone must have somewhere. Probably. But I could only find a 12 second clip. So, yeah, that would be fun to do. That's cool, man. Yeah. I, uh, I've kind of been thinking about maybe recording some of my gameplay for, like, uh, Absolute Drift. That would be cool. You're in the friggin top one percent on a good run oh I, you're the I one am, percent is that what i am the yeah. one percent is that who everyone's talking about you that's right that's you right. motherfucker i know <laughs> give us back all of our money i've been up to a lot of shit <laughs> being this great in absolute drift you just can't help but stumble upon billions and billions of dollars this one I'm almost above 100th place. Uh, Occupy Andrew Brubaker art uh, com <laughs> says, <laughs> says Chronos Regis. Brilliant. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, Andrew. Sponsored yeah, I, by Andrew Brubaker art com. I think we should uh, kind of, I don't know, make some of our own stuff to just sort of add as filler content. Yeah, man. Because mm -hmm. I think we, we publish content regularly enough, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to make additional content. Yeah, just toss whatever you guys feel like on there. Mm -hmm. If you guys make something, just put it on there. Yeah. It'll be good stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure most people would either A, not care, B, would be like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't or... think we have enough, like... See, when a, when a fan base is really small, uh, everyone's really nice on it. We're not big enough to the point mm -hmm. where we'll have a bunch of shithead YouTube Outrage. comments just going, I cannot believe they're <laughs> not sticking to their original... Con yeah. There's nothing I mean, more infuriating than like, more Cool Cat like, Cinema content. 
worst case scenario is no one cares. Best case scenario is it outrages everybody. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Mm-hmm. Because then we'll be able to take screenshots of everyone's comments and frame and them. And then send it to Kotaku and be like, look, we're important. <laughs> Validate us, send by. The, su- the subject line just says, really important email. <laughs> R-E, very important topics. <laughs> you add the R-E to imply that there's already an email chain going on with Kotaku <laughs> staff. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh wow, I don't remember talking to this guy, but let's see what uh, what updates we they, have on this already... email chain. You should already know who we are, but... (laughs) However, with that said, if you are not yet one of the... Yeah, one of the many... If you've been living under a rock... Anyway, hey, let's talk about the game we just played. Yeah. Because we all had a fantastic time playing it. It was fun. So, uh, let's let's start with the cons. Are you guys ready? Because I have one massive piece of... Well, for, first, I think we should say what we played. <laughs> give, give a name to it, yeah. <laughs> so we played a game, and here's the shit I hate about it. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> hold on. Don't buy. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Don't buy the game. Uh, yeah, you guys pumped for the big movie coming out next week? Absolutely, but let's talk about that after we talk about the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, who's gonna say the name? It's kind of it's kind of a, name... it's a mystery right now. The podcast listeners are on their the fucking edge of their seats right now. <laughs> they they should be if they're not. Are they or did they shut it down already? <laughs> what the fuck? They they haven't talked about anything for twenty minutes. <laughs> All right. So this game is called Hell Divers. <gasps> oh, and... we got one. <laughs> we got it. And it may or may not have been down too long in the midnight sea. <laughs> He's Hell Diver. <laughs> uh, it was a video game called Hell Divers, developed by Hell Diver Interactive. I don't fucking know. Uh, it's pretty good. Hell the Diver Magica Corporate is enough to say. It's by the people who made Magica, and it shows because you have to play DDR in order to win. And so you basically have More to you, you call strategic beacons down, like uh, things that are strategic, such as guns. <laughs> And we bombs. just played this game. <laughs> and you have to perform a sequence of DDR presses in order to spawn these helpful assistants. The stratagems, they call them. The video game is Hell Divers. The year is 2015. Matt, Andrew, and Ian. The last Metroid is in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's a pretty great game. Pretty great game. Pretty fantastic fucking game. Uh, I would recommend it to absolutely anyone who has a Microsoft Xbox 360 for PC controller for Windows uh, and money. Like $20. we we really should contact Microsoft to be like, hey, listen, we already plug your controller yeah. fucking in every video we make. <laughs> hundreds of people. Have hundreds heard of pitch. people. See Literally, them. dozens of people. <laughs> And uh, you should start paying us. Um, but yeah, so Hell Divers is a fantastic game. There's only one huge, massive downside that I'm going to slap you guys over the face with. You ready? Damn. The no. the first time you open the game. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. It bombards you with just this loud ass intro that plays for about five minutes, giving the rich, deep lore of Hell Divers that is unskippable. An unskippable cutscene is unforgivable. An unskippable cutscene at the very beginning, before you can even do anything, <laughs> is even worse. Is even more yeah, more that's, unforgivable. That's like, hey, pay your dues. And it's like, oh, is that really how this works? It's like the unpaid internship of the video game. <laughs> oh, it was a, a fantastic video game that started off with the world's worst intro it was actually really cool the animation but because it wasn't skippable like i, I was mad at it like i didn't care and that it was you, good you you didn't even get an opportunity to lower your volume that was the most important thing i couldn't hear anything <laughs> but uh hell divers the actual video game if you're judging so zero out of ten intro cinematic <laughs> Uh, if you only play the first five minutes of the game, you'll probably won't so find yeah. It. People who play only the first play zero game. Yeah, so people <laughs> yes. who play only the first five minutes, uh, all of you, 
I would recommend I would not recommend Helldivers to those who choose to play only the first five minutes of each video game that they open and purchase. Uh, if you're one of the people who are normal and actually play <laughs> video games when you purchase them, holy shit, are you in for a treat? Download Helldivers on the Steam marketplace on your PC, Mac, or Linux desktop or laptop. I'm, I'm not. I, do we know if it'll run on Mac and Linux? Nope. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Cool. But download it anyway. To you by Helldivers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Helldivers, dive into hell! <laughs> Great! We got it. Sound, sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could not think of a more appropriate Christmas episode than Helldivers. Yeah. You should make a special, like, Christmas theme for the thumbnail. All right. And, and for the music, like the Ooh, intro totally. music. All right. Like, get some Jingle Bell action and maybe some, like, <laughs> some jingle green bell screen. Action. Like, maybe get some green screen snowflakes. Okay, hold on. I'll tell Siri to remind <laughs> me. Uh, Siri, remind me on Saturday the 19th to add Jingle Bells to the fucking intro thing for Cool Cat Cinema. Do it. Remind me. I love you. Perfect. Add jingle Seriously. bells to the fucking intro thing for. She just gave up on listening to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I got a date. You Fine. purposefully ignored me saying I love you. What bitch? <laughs> Sorry, that's, something's gone wrong. Can you tell me again? <laughs> wow. Did might... you tell her your name was Faggot? Yes. Is that what you, you said? Sure did. <laughs> it... That's amazing. Siri and I have a weird, complicated relationship. Let's just say. Turns out. <laughs> Tim Cook is like, who allowed this? <laughs> As Tim Cook sits down with a nice cup of hot chocolate and his favorite scarf at his <laughs> iMac on a wooden desk with nothing else on it. His mahogany hanging desk. Terrari- hanging terrariums all about. He sits down to go through today's backlog of Siri queries. <laughs> It sounds like you're no, reading here's fan the, here's fiction, the thing, and I love Andrew, it. Andrew, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> quality assurance teams for for voice recognition... No, no, no. I, I, I know people no, do no, listen here, yeah. to them. So, like, there are people who... So, every single recording is owned by Apple. And so, what I like to do is every single time <laughs> I, I make a query, I specifically am positive that I included something just weird or off or just kind of uncomfortable <laughs> about the audio recording. So in the event a quality assurance person has the mispleasure, mispleasure, displeasure, <laughs> displeasure. the displeasure of listening to one of my recordings, it, you know, I just I want to make their jobs interesting. I want to I want to give them something to go home to, and tell their wives about or or husbands. Say, <laughs> I don't I don't judge. They say thank you, Matt. You've made this is no, these they are say the days thank you, I faggot. <laughs> they, they would say thank you, faggot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, yeah, mature uh, content warning, by the way. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> so, so what do you think about that? Um, I don't. I'm blanking on the band name. Never mind. Never mind. Wu Tang. Yeah. How about that Wu Tang? Yeah, didn't the guy who jacked up the price on the HIV medication buy it? Buy, like, the one copy? Yeah, whatever. So to those who are not aware, price. also known as me, you want to run me run that entire entire sentence by me with a few more details in between? So... Tell me a story. Basically, Sit me down. Basically, and honestly, it's really cool until you find out who bought it. Okay. Wu Tang Clan okay. made an album okay. that does not exist anywhere except on this single, this single physical copy. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds like a good way to make money. Yeah, and uh, their angle is that you know you've never seen actual music, which is a form of art, sold in the same manner in which, say, a Picasso painting would be. Okay. So that's what they did with this album. And the package for the album, I don't know if it's a CD or a hard drive or something like that, but 
the package for the album <laughs> <laughs> the package for the album is a handcrafted like legit like uh, passed down from generation to generation art form like box that's made by these very well known like whatever so it's, well it's known that really, doesn't know the name of them it's it's this really really incredible presentation one of a kind and uh and it can be yours yeah for the price it, of... and it and and it get it gets auctioned and uh okay. the guy the guy who jacked up the price on hiv medication is the one who bought it what a shithead that's what everyone says so about him already. For the lo- so so for the low price of how how expensive is that album? I don't know how much it sold for. Oh, you mean you didn't go to Amazon.com and click the buy button on it? <laughs> buy now. <laughs> One click buy. Shit, it's a million dollars. <laughs> Fuck. My wife's not going to be happy about this. <laughs> Honey, I got a bill for a million dollars. You know we won't see that Thanks, kind of money Jeff for 30 Bezos. years, right, Honey. <laughs> Yeah, but Wu Tang Clan, <laughs> babe, you just don't understand. <laughs> Parents just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Parents and wives just don't get it. <laughs> you want this Wu Tang album for one million dollars? Kids, ask your parents before signing on to Wu Tang. Going on million dollars dot com. Wu Tang parents hate him. So, um. <laughs> After the conclusion of this podcast, we, cuties, cutie number one, uh, andrewbrubakerart.com, cutie number two, <laughs> Ian, vectordice.com, Ian, cutie number three, uh, what's his name? YouTube.com slash cool kid cinema. <laughs> there he is. Uh, we're going to stra- We're going to hop right back into Hell Divers. Because that's how good it was. In fact, we're, we're co- probably just going to stop the podcast right now so we can go <laughs> in mid-sentence. <laughs> mid-sentence. <laughs> just click stop. So, bye. Um, that said, I do want to say, probably a pretty not fun game to single player. Probably I don't think not. you can. Oh, I mean, I guess you can. Does it give you artificial intelligence assistance? I'm not sure. I mean, it didn't give us a fourth person, so I can only assume i don't know but it seems like it would be boring if with i i imagine if you're buying that game you're buying it to play with other people so yeah i was a little surprised they didn't have like the, the you know pack the package thing. deal yeah exactly yeah um i have been playing dark souls recently you have i don't think uh, I don't think we've discussed that on the podcast yet. We have. Oh, also, we have at least one email to answer. Oh, don't that's we? right. That's right. Do so, we want to do that? We have an email. Actually, yeah, actually, so, I brought up Dark Souls, so I guess just yeah. I'll flesh that out a little. Is bit. it finish, better finish than Dark thought, Souls? And I'll go pull up our email. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I've been playing Dark Souls, the original, uh, Prepare to Die edition, whatever. Um. And uh, it's actually grown on me, like, a lot. Uh, I was surprised at how much it's grown on me. Um, it's, it's a game that has a reputation for being really difficult, and it is, but it's also really enjoyable, because you make very clear strides of, like, progression as far as character power and also just skill. You know, you you can tell that you're getting better at the game because you often backtrack and that sort of thing, and it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't played it, you should check it out. More like Dork cool. Souls. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever come up with that joke. That's really mean. Yeah. And I've been streaming hella Fallout Four, so I'm doing my part. I have, for the past week and a half, sworn off Dota. Ooh. Whoa! What have you been Actually, doing? Actually, I, I don't have know. noticed that you haven't been playing. I don't know what I've been doing. <laughs> I'm panicking. You could play Heroes of the Storm with me, or just stare at your turned-off computer. God, monitor. that's like telling. Okay, so good. like, hey guys, I'm, 
I'm quitting heroin, and they're and you're like, oh, that's amazing. Here, man, I have some, some meth, meth over probably here. Take the edge off. <laughs> that's that's what you just <laughs> told got me. Got time for a PCP? <laughs> Great. Drugs are a full time commitment, man. Yeah, I mean, when you when you go to your um, when you get your coin for being like a month sober, they give you a reward of a different type of drug. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Um, yeah, no, I, I have not been playing video games. Because basically, I've, I've been pretty sour about Dota, and there's a massive patch coming in like the next week, and so I figured, oh, I'll just wait until that thing happens. So I was thinking about getting Axiom Verge. That, that oh, came out recently, but I'm kind of waiting for the Steam sale fe- uh, sponsoring uh-huh. game. Sponsored by. Okay, game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go add those games that I said. So I was Axiom add. Verge is like uh, an old school Metroid scroller uh, with amazing, just amazing retro pixel art. Like they really captured oh, cool. the feel of Me- Super Metroid beautifully. In that era, just of that era. Style. Axiom Verge looks like an amazing game. And yeah, I'm just I, waiting for. I, yeah, I'm gonna pick it up if it if it goes on sale. If it goes on like, sale, there's I no am, way it's without hesitation yeah. buying. That. Yeah, exactly. It looks fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching the fucking trailer. God, it's so good, so right? Good. Uh, Speedrunners and what was the other game? Speedrunners and Ready Cook Serve. Ready Steady Cook. Ready Steady <laughs> Cook Shift. Serve Ship. Eat, eat, clean, pray, love, digest. Cook, serve, delicious? Yeah, that's what we no. said, Andrew. <laughs> we just said that. Oh, hey, something I'd like to talk about. Um, next week is, I mean, the, the, the big movie has already come out uh, as of this podcast going live, but we have not seen... Cook, serve, delicious. We have not seen the big movie yet. And so what I've been doing to prepare for the big movie is I decided to watch, in one sitting, uh, oh, the God. Star Wars prequels. Wow. And so I haven't seen the Star Wars prequels un- since I was a kid. And so I always had, like, kind of lukewarm feelings about them. Like, oh, I enjoyed it as a kid, and, you know, they're fine. And then I decided to actually watch them, like, as an adult, if you could call me that. And there actually is no redeemable I'm really exciting there's no redeemable part of the entire prequel trilogy it's filled with nonsense and fucking boring ass stale soap opera style directing where people just stand and then they do shoulder over shoulder shots of just people mm-hmm. fucking talking and then they're behind this stupid video game graphics background it was so fucking bad (laughs) however however there was one amazing thing two amazing things that came from these prequels are you ready jar jar binks jar jar binks and jar jar binks um so dual (laughs) dual john williams duel of the fates i'm pretty sure everyone has the same opinion and has been saying this for the past 14 years without me having to contribute to it uh duel of the fates fantastic fucking song everyone will remember it for the rest of their lives and the fucking pod race scene. That shit was so cool. <laughs> I I remember oh. not liking it when I saw it. Man, that was a cool scene. Just fucking strap big ass sci-fi jet engines on two tethers. Hey ya! <laughs> yeah, they but okay. Can I say what I hate the most about any poorly done racing scene? Okay, go for it. I'm assuming you're it's speaking how, as a connoisseur of racing scenes. A little bit, and Andrew will agree with me on this. I already know. They do the thing where, like, one guy's catching up to the other, and then they're neck and neck for, like, 15 <laughs> seconds. Like, what happened to yeah, all that Yeah, what happened to all that inertia? <laughs> yeah, why are you now stuck at the same speed? If you could catch up to him, you could just maintain that. Anyway, that sort of infuriates me, even though I know it's done for tension. I'm like, initial D didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. 
So, Sorry, anyways, continue. No, I'm just that, that. That's it. Just I thought the pre- I used yeah. to have the opinion I, that the prequels were like acceptable movies, and they weren't great, but they were just fine until I watched them not as a child. Oh yeah, it was it yeah. was quite an eye opener because I thought everyone was overreacting. I thought it was just a joke. Like everyone was like, ha ha ha, prequels so bad. They weren't like the original. I miss the originals. I miss my old life. Right. I miss my childhood. Yeah. I wish I was a kid again. <laughs> you know that kind Ow. of thing. <laughs> I might yeah. kill myself. <laughs> so like that's what I thought. Those that's those are the types of people I thought were commenting and saying the the prequels were bad. I didn't realize that the entire universe was correct and that the prequels were actually just the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's like instead of receiving a signal from aliens that's like uh we come in peace or we're going to enslave your race they're like yeah the prequels suck. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone would know what they were talking about, too. <laughs> just like, oh, yeah, man. Oh, shit, we just made contact with aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, so I'm really excited for the big movie next week. Hey, guys, is any of the stuff that I'm seeing in this trailer actually in the game? What video game? What trailer? Oh, we'll have to ask Sarah. Ark. Ark. Oh yeah, Sava's so super into Ark. Yeah, so should we read that? Uh, should we I... read that email? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it's speak- saying Sava reminded me. Uh, by the gateway, if you by the gay, by the gay, <laughs> if you guys ever want to join us while we record, we're always at live at twitch.tv slash coolcatsima. Always live. That's what I said. We are never not streaming <laughs> at twitch.tv slash coolcatsima. Twenty four seven content. 365 all the time uh, all the time sometimes sometimes <laughs> what, uh, what what is it called oh uh channel info oh, what is it there's called? this amazing info channel so andrew and i discovered this youtube channel called info <laughs> channel C-H-A-M-M-E-L and it's like if Tim and Eric had a really obscure YouTube channel with only like 300 subscribers <laughs> Info channel it, all the time it's, all I, the time <laughs> it's fucking brilliant it's it's like a, it's like a softcore Tim and Eric for like uh I want to say like infomercials, but I don't want to say infomercials because that's kind of sinko y. Yeah. It's like news ish. It's like a news of. wire kind of. It's like a, it's it's, like a big it's just brother ridiculous. type of thing. Like where they just display various programs that are supposed to enrich your life. It's got the <laughs> like the telescreen thing going on. So, hey, let's. um. Let's read yeah, that email, mail. and mail let's go play time, some fucking... Mail time, mail time, mail time, There we go. I didn't know we had a mail it's jingle. A it just started. Uh, that's not our mail jingle. Oh. <laughs> that's the Blue Clue, Blue's Clues mail jingle. Well, yeah. they're not alive yeah. anymore. Wait, not, I thought that was here anymore, the which means mail... we can use it. Yeah, it but, it, fails... but, it, but it starts out. It mail makes time. me want to wag, wag my, my tail. tail mail. Okay, sounds good. All right. <laughs> now we can read the email from Savalian. Uh, subject line is boop. And then the content is what do you guys want for Christmas from your best number one fan ever trademark? Wow. So that's some fighting. We're words. getting like every holiday in existence done on this episode. So we already got our New Year's resolutions out of the way because this is going live on New Year's. Andrew, what do you want for Christmas? I do. And why is it an embrace from Matthew? Ooh. <laughs> that does sound good. It does sound pretty good, man. I could I could kick back and enjoy a nice cold embrace from Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> a nice cold embrace from Andrew. <laughs> Hover hands. <laughs> a cold a cold icy embrace. Hello, Matthew. <gasps> oh, Andrew, um, you're so <laughs> life is I... cold. First, Kronos, that's a ridiculous question. Um, for, for for Christmas, I would like, I don't know, a cool video game. 
such as Axiom Verge. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to please. All right. I'll, uh, uh, I'll let Santa know. I would like a cool video game, or maybe like a cool anime, or like a cool manga or something. Whatever you want, it's gonna be so, cool. So yeah, yeah. Axiom Verge yeah. and fucking hentai. Okay, Ian. All I want for Christmas is, is you. Dun 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 Which, dun. dun. Granted. It's like a hard style remix. Dun dun yeah. dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> then there's a dubstep bass drop. <laughs> wow, 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 Christmas is you. Wow, 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 wow. wow. That has been the, um, uh, the live composition hour. So, Ian. Saint, Saint Nicholas is coming to your door. He's going to wow. kick it down. Wow, who's this elf girl? I don't know. I I have. And he's gonna point at you and go, "What the fuck do you want from me?" And oh, then you're gonna look at Saint God, Nicholas I, I and go, it. "I want." Hold on. Pasting into chat a horrible image. Um, do you want to describe it for the the people not in chat? You losers, not it's... tuning into Twitch.tv slash Cool Cat Cinema. I think I saw it on Reddit, but it's a drawing of two very butch-looking unicorns in a bathroom, and one of them is using his horn as a stall glory hole. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's I'm really it's glad you sent but that it's to also, all, of our, all of our users on the, on the Twitch channel. It's also really funny, you, but you it's You realize you horrifying. just endorsed that image. It's incredibly well done, and I respect that, okay. but it's horrifying. <laughs> um, no, I'm, at, I'm actually at the point where, fortunately, m my career is going well. I can't, there's nothing that's like, oh, I need something that I can't afford. Like, you know, if I need something, I can generally buy it, or like, no, that's not freaking worth it. I'm not paying that. Um, but... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I would like some freaking free time would be good. There you go. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I did my second sleep <laughs> study, so I would like the Wish results of Wish not granted, Ian. <laughs> yeah, basically. Elves just give me the middle finger. Um, no, what I would like is for us to have our D&D &D episode. Ooh. Wish. That's Boom. a good Christmas wish. Wish motherfucking Boom. granted. Shots fired across the back. I will um, I will relearn D D for that Christmas wish to come true, Ian. That's, my... that's a dope Christmas wish. Yeah. And if that's... you if you take it back right right now, if you're about to take it back, I'm gonna be upset. No. No, I was actually gonna say my online D D oh, okay. DM, very mysterious person, offered to write up a little, you know, short adventure for us to use. I see. So yeah, so it's going to be pretty legit. I got the five five sample characters to pick from if you don't want to do Oh, I already know what we're going to do for the video. Are you ready? Mm. So okay. we have, for recording this, we have the online like D&D &D session as a video. And then we also have, each of us will need to get a green screen. Okay? Oh, and God. we put it behind ourselves and we record ourselves, uh, our, our faces... And we put lights low. We put, we have lights low that are facing up, so it looks like we're all surrounded mm -hmm. by a campfire or something. Ooh. It'll be super Ooh. fucking ominous, and it'll look so professional. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Also, if if we're on a Google chat, it like highlights the person's box who's talking, so we could see that box jumping around. I think around we should maybe. start tossing our videos in our videos. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> Let me try that one more time. Sentence? <laughs> Sentence, please? Sentence not found. Sorry, hold on. Uh, oh, I think oh. we should toss our <laughs> recordings of, like, our faces into our videos more often somehow. We should figure it out. I, yeah. uh, so I have, like, 80 bucks on Amazon. Wow. And I was Look thinking at Mr. about... Look bags over here. <laughs> I, well, hang on. Hang on, I'm not just bragging. <laughs> I was, I was thinking about... Uh, buying either a headset mm. 
for a better microphone mm. or a webcam. Mm. Ooh. Both. I say both. Uh, but yeah. I can't afford both for $80. Mm. Good point. <laughs> Just get a shitty one of each. Well, fortunately, there's a holiday coming up where you can just get free shit by saying, I want this, and saying you've been a good boy. Yeah. So I yeah. think you should get on that. Um, I don't know. How about how about I do some shopping on stream? Yeah, put in that credit card. Um, also, my brother wants to do the D&D with us, and I think it's a good idea because typically you have four PCs, and he could be the fourth if Jordan joins. So. Yes. So there. I hope Jordan joins with us. Um, oh, and he was know. making a character named Truffles, so, you know, he's down. He knows how, how it be. Okay. Should we start... Uh, oh, you're actually doing the stream, Amazon, aren't you? Should we start wrapping this, uh, this, this fireside chat up? Go play some more Helldivers? I think so. I think we hit all the points. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you all for the joining. The joining. The joining. The, the joining. joining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yup. And uh, I should shave because I forgot to do that all week. And oh, actually, like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Let's conclude. Let's conclude this podcast. And there's something we also have to record after. We have to record the outro for the video. Oh, okay. I just gave it to you. No, the outro for the video, not the podcast. Oh, okay. So, Andrew, buddy, sign us out of this podcast here. Get me out of this horrible cage. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another episode of the Cool Cat Cinema Fireside Chat. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give us a nice rating on iTunes. Uh, check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash coolcatcinema. Uh, and if you're feeling even more generous than that, you can check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash coolcatcinema and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash coolcatcinema. And until next time, thanks and see you later. It's been a pleasure as always. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.